Okay, coming into part three here of Majora's Mask. So everybody, coming back at you. Part three, part three. Now, this part right here, I want to bring into the pulling it together portion of it. So with this one here, you're going to see me right now just doing the part where I'm manipulating this the whole time. So while I'm doing this, I'm, I'm kind of going to just be using this as to just a, a place to talk to you right now. So the pulling it together portion of it is the part where you really do look at your source material, really do fi figure what you're going to want to have as your final product right now. Are you trying to achieve a full mask right now? So for me, I had to start deciding, this thing's going to start getting a little bit heavy and I don't know how that's going to hold to my face. So right here is where I started to actually say I'm noticing that this is already with just paper going to start to get a little heavy because I'm going to have to eventually be sculpting to this thing and anything I apply to that, anything I apply to that is weight. And if I'm going to have this thing weighted, where am I going to have to have points to, to attach so that way the, the, the face won't want to fall off. And as you see from my part one series where I actually show at the very beginning, I actually can wiggle around in this thing. I can move. I can shake. It's actually a very, very comparable mask to, to, uh, to move around in. So with this mask right now, you can see that it's very thin, very flexible, and it doesn't really hold. I mean, it doesn't take too much for me to hold it. So with that, I was able to really um, decide that this paper mache, along with the rest of the sculpting material that I was going to have to be using, was going to be a little too much. So right now, at this phase, when I'm really maneuvering, and I'm starting to say, I just want to create the shape, make it look real good, because I'm going to pull a mold off this sucker. So if I pull a mold, it's also a nice thing, because from there, I can actually say, this can be a continuated piece that I can put onto let's say my uh, my website for a sellable piece and I can reproduce it as many times as I need to <clears throat> now if I would have just kept this as a one-off which I still have the original to be its one-off I'm gonna just I used it in, in later on I'm gonna discuss a little later on even though we're gonna get there I used it as my painting template so I was gonna pull the mold which that doesn't bug me to even paint onto the thing I'm going to pull the mold off of because painting to me just seals whatever I'm doing down more. More coats of paint create more seal. So I was looking at the the original and I was thinking I'm going to get this thing as far as I can get it without putting horns on it because that's just going to because that makes it real difficult to to pull a mold because as you can see the horns would be a real turkey to mold. So keeping the horns off just the mask face itself, I knew I was going to mold it. So with that, I figured now that I know I'm going to mold this thing, just go for the shape. Really get it in there. And as you can see, I'm really messing with the, um, the, the starch getting in there. and just it, it would appear that I'm taking forever with the starch on this thing here. But what I'm doing is I'm literally just softening the paper so I can manipulate it like warm plastic that's what I'm doing when, the, when, when you let it sit I have a heat gun I dry it out pretty quick and when it dries out it gave me a great base to work with so if you need something cheap to work with paper mache is always great I, I can't give it enough enough so bringing things together using paper mache using all any materials you can is, is, a, is, a, is, the, is the best way to get any cosplay or costume material done so everybody, I'm going to be wrapping up part three of this right now. Come uh, like, subscribe, check out my, hit the notification button. Come check out more of this. Majora's going to keep going on right now until the whole thing is done. Wait until you see it at the very end. I might do a live stream for the last little bits of this. Um, come check out some more. I think you'll have a lot of fun.